Good morning, my name is Jack and welcome back to another Rush Gang fishing episode. So I'm just down the beach this morning for the sunrise, chucking around big fresh sand whiting and herring, hoping I can get a mulloway or a snapper on. So I got the big gear with me. I've been burling up the beach like mad this morning. I've caught myself a couple of herring and a couple of whiting already. Solid little herring on the first cast. But now, it's time to get the big fresh baits out and fingers crossed we can get a big fish on. Let's get into it. It's prime time right now, it's overcast, the sun's just making its way up. And there's fish everywhere out there, a lot of smaller fish reacting to my burly trails. So now that I'm putting the bigger bait, I hope there's a big fish in underneath them and we can get a big dog on. Let's go. Alright, that's us, we're in the game. Fingers crossed something big comes through. Get a bit of burly in the water. I've just got some diced up pilchards. Premium fresh baits this morning. Got the sand whiting. Big hazer. I'm feeling hopeful. I've just put a tailor rig on my lighter combo here. See if there's any tailor kicking around. Because if I hook one on this rod, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's heaps of herring in that bubbling out there, so... We're in with a shot, for sure. Oh, that was a good hit. I think my big rod's actually on. The line's just pulled really loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big rod on. Oh. Oh, I just got busted off! Oh, I just got busted off! Oh, that was a good fish! What happened there? Oh, too busy mucking around with the cameras, or they bite me off. Far out! That was my boy! Straight away on the fresh whiting. Oh, it bit me off. Or did my... Yeah, he bit me off. Maybe it was a shark. Oh, all three hooks gone. And yeah, a bit of chafing there. Bugger. That sucks. But yeah, that's the first big bait I've put out and I just got absolutely smoked. I don't know if it was a shark or what, but it's bit off my three hooks now. So we'll re-rig up, fresh whiting straight back in the game. I'll quickly show you what I'm fishing with as I rig up. So I've just got the grapnel sinker there. That goes to a three-way swivel. And then this time I've just gone with a two hook snail. So that's two 6.0 C point hooks from Black Magic. And then the fresh whiting head is bait. Just put that through there. I've got some bait cod in here but you don't really need it for the fresh whiting. Like that. My bait there, just a big chunk of fresh whiting. Let's get it back out there. Oh, hopefully where there's one, there's more. I would love to get a snapper or a mulloway off the beach here. It's been way too long since I've caught a big beach fish. And that's just because I don't try anymore. But they're here, if you put the effort in. As I said, I was down here before the sunrise and I've I've already used close to two kilos of burley this morning just to really get the area loaded with fish for the sunrise. And while this big rod's sat here waiting for the big dog, I might chuck a little lure around or something on my smaller rod. See if I can get some of these um, see if I can get some of these herring or tailor off the top. There's no weed in the water or anything. I'm just pumping burley out. Hoping a big dog will come back. I noticed that one because my line had just gone really slack. Like the fish was just swimming straight back at us. But then yeah, obviously as I got tied on it, just bit straight through my leader. I've got 80 pound leader on there too, so it's a, it's a big fish. 
I told myself I was going to put the slider rod away and just watch the big one, but it's hard to just sit there. So while I'm waiting, I'll just tie it a little lure on this rod here. Gonna have a few flicks with that. There's heaps of fish just bubbling in that out here before. I don't know if they're herring or tailor. I guess we'll soon find out, hopefully. Keeping one eye on that big rod. I know there's big fish around. It's kind of prime conditions too. Not much of a lure rod this one. It's like a really, really old rod, but it's launching these lures. Yeah. Yeah, that launches. Fish on right in the whitewash there. Wicked, what is he? Come here, bud. Beautiful heather. There you go, beautiful little herring on that little white bait looking lure there. It's probably going to turn into a fresh bait, I think. Chuck him in the bucket fresh as anything look at that slab you're not going to get a better fresh bait than that that's ultimate all right let's get this big slab out there try to sneak it in through the scales there one hook second hook again just try to get it in behind the scales last thing you want is a big scale covering the point of your hook like that that there's a pretty good looking bait all right let's get this big fresh herring fillet out there see what this guy does That's in the zone. There's actually a bit of reef that runs along just out there. And I'm casting just inside of that. I can't quite get the distance I'd like, but I'm not too far off it. Like I'm in with a chance for sure. All right, I'm getting restless just staring at this big rod. So I'm gonna smash this rig onto the little rod. Try pick up some more whiting and herring for bait for next time. All I'm going to do is just add this little burly cage sinker to it. I've got some of that powdered burly, squeeze that into it. And surely we can pick up a couple more herring or whiting. Alright, let's give this whiting rig a go. Lob him out. See if there's still the bait fish around. My big rod just got a decent little bite before. Maybe a tailor. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. The whiting rig, first cast. Actually hit that really hard, I had to hear him. They're still around. Bang! A good size herring too. Really good size.
good size hezzer. Smash that little black magic whiting rig. Oh, maybe I'll try to grab a couple of those for next time. All right, let's see if we can pick up another one of those herring. So I've just got two small cubes of muley on or pilchard, bit of burley. Squeeze that into the sinker. That just lets the fish know where the bait is. Rinse my hands and then let's see if we can pick up another hezo like that. They're good size ones. Straight back out there. And yeah, right now that burly will be flowing out of my sinker going straight up towards my hooks where the bait is and the idea being the fish will find the bait pretty quickly. Oh yeah, heads are on again. Oh yeah, he's still on me, he's swimming straight at me. There we go. Got tension on him now. Oh, he's jumping. Work out, this is so much fun. Oh, are you kidding me? Right in the wave there, he just got off. They're hard to keep hooked, those little herring. Really soft mouths on them. Bloody fun though. All right, another bait. Just a really small bit of bait. You don't need much at all. All right, still got my other bit of bait, which is great. Bit more burly in the sinker. Let's go again, see if we can keep them on this time. Another herring on here. There's that many of them out here. Just no big dogs. Just jumping. There's so much fun on these lighter combos. Oh, I got two, I think. Yeah, there's no wonder it's going hard. Two hezes at a time. That's beautiful. Oh, I might even be hearing for lunch, I think. Actually, it is. It is going to be hearing for lunch. I haven't eaten hearing for ages, and I love these guys. I don't know if you're about to see that on the camera or not. Where is he? There he is. There's a massive black stingray feeding on my burley right on the shoreline. He just keeps cruising in and out. As long as he leaves my baits alone, I'm happy. So yeah, look at him. Pretty good. Gonna give the rod one more hour. It's starting to get pretty hot down here and I don't want to get cooked in the sun, so one more hour. I'm just going to chill back there on the beach and hopefully this goes off. And fingers crossed it's not that big dirty Ray because he's pretty, uh, he's a big boy. Well, that's it from me this morning. Skin hot, I'm hungry, I'm ready to head home. Absolutely feeling that I lost the only big run that I had on the big rod there. But that's fishing in the Perth metro area. I put a lot of effort in to get these big beach fish and it's going to take time, but I am going to get a big beach slob on camera. Um, 
nice consolation prize though. Plenty of herring to catch. I've got a few in my bag there for a feed, so I'm not mad. I've had a good morning. Got my last bait out now. I'm gonna give that five minutes and it's all over. So if that rod doesn't go off, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy.